We got the new back from the mechanic. Um, they didn't fire much for the sluggish issue. We'll talk about that a bit later, but today the uh, fridge slide showed up. So this is the King's 100 litre fridge slide. I knew it was going to be an issue with this build because uh, 400 mil from here to here, um, my fridge is I think 400-ish. I've already forgotten how tall everything is um, because I mentioned it last week. But I knew it was going to be an issue, so as it sits now, um, out of the box, fridge slide plus the Evercore 80 litre, the TDZ 80, whatever the fuck it is, uh, sits 40 mil above the tub. So when I first got this slide, it was Monday, uh, so almost a week ago. I had the bright idea of uh, uh, modifying this straight up without testing it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull you down for half a second. So I've got some weights on there to stop it from flipping. But this is probably the best way to check it out. So as you can see down in there, there's actually a gap uh, where these run off. Now, I'll come at this, uh, it's almost impossible to see, but um, the tray, it sits, I don't know, a couple of, come down on this side here. Um, so the tray, let's see if we can get some focus going. There we go. Uh, sits just below this rail here, so we're talking about this top rail here. Um, obviously that rail goes inside this other rail, so we're expecting, you know, a couple of mil just underneath this, this rail here. But from there to there it's about 15 mil, so I can actually drop this down 15 mil. The reason why I've got it stretched out and on weights because I need to measure the stock piece here. Um, how deep it was, we're looking at about 10 mil. Uh, with no weight, that's the thing with no weight, so I'm going to drop it down No, it was 12 mil, so I'm going to drop that down 10 mil uh, Worst case scenario is it might rub on the tub, might just get some longer stay cables um, Just so I can tilt the tub down just a little bit more But uh, that's where we're up to Fuck yeah, that was fun um, Spend a good 20 minutes looking for a magnet <laughs> because I've got a bad habit of uh, using tools and not putting shit back. But it turns out it was actually meant it was where it was meant to be. Didn't think up there. So there you go. We've got two, four, six, eight bolts either side. So what we're going to do is we're end up, going to end up dropping those down 12 mil. Shitty paint. Um, so that should, that's going to drop this whole unit down a little bit. Alternatively, we could have just taken the 8 from there and dropped the tray down. Same effect, either or really, um, doesn't really matter, but we'll do it on this one. At least if we go down too far on this, I can actually move these up a bit. So, that's the plan. Trying to go make a mess in the shed, well, more mess in the shed. I figured I'd show you what I was doing or how I'm marking it up. So these are five mil holes already. Um, I want to drop it down uh, 12 mil. So really, what I need to do is do um, 9.5 mil. Yeah, 9.5 mil from the base of that hole down the bottom. I just did 10 mil. I did do 10 mil. Fuck, some of these are going to be out. Better go redo them all because uh, it turns out. My piece of shit burning his move. But essentially all I did was drop it in there, score a line. As I said, I've got to go around the door because it looks like I'm about a mil off already. And what I'll do after that is I'll just get the right angle, hard where it is, use the same thing, draw a straight line. And I don't know if you can see it because I can't focus on this thing. not focusing sorry guys took a little bit um, as you can see there I've got a straight line and right there is where I'm going to drill it um, so I'll go through and do all 16 of them so what we're going to do is as you can see what I set up on the drill press we're going to start with the three mil drill bit go through do all 16 and then I'm going to step it up to a six mil drill bit now I did say that these were five but this just oversizing it by a mil will give me a five mil play around the screw 
or centered so to speak so one mil to move around to play with so in case if I'm not completely square or whatnot so um yeah account for my error basically but yeah we're just going to go through get some drilling done really should have punched these first And this is why I give myself oversized fucking drill bits because that is so far off center, it's not funny. Well, technically, it's probably a mill, but this is why I do oversized bits. It gives me room to play because I tend to fuck shit up quite a bit. But uh, you guys don't want to see me drill fucking eight, 32 holes. Ended up going 7 mil on the holes, give a bit more wiggle room, but. Um, essentially. We got no gap underneath there. On the bottom here, there's no gap, but um, it'll give me the option to lift it up if I need to. So it's a good start. What I'm gonna do is unfold it back. I've got the uh, the um, fridge out here now, so I can actually measure the height, and that'll be job done. Well, that's it, buttoned up in the back. Now what we're gonna be doing is measuring from the top of the lids there, which is actually looking pretty bloody good. Looking at 15 mil. Yeah, so 15 mil off that. So, if we go 30 mil box up, just in front here, I'll only have a 10 mil piece. For any supports that come across, I'm only going to have a 10 mil piece, so, um, I think, think I might do solid rod in between those. Um, that way I've got my clearance there. But I am exceptionally happy in just the extra measure. Cut the rear end of this job. And good thing I did because at the rear, we're looking at about 18 mil. Still doable. So one thing I don't like about fridges is when you go smaller, they get taller. If they go, you go bigger, they get longer but shorter. Can't you just make a smaller, longer fridge, please? I did say I was going to touch briefly on uh, what the mechanic found because if you watched the last video, I said I thought I might have fucked up the timing. Timing was perfect. Fuel pump was perfect. Now it's going to be pretty hard to see, but following this hose down here goes onto a banjo on the top there. Apparently, previous owner might have lost the spacer and um, put a piece of curtain rod in there and they reckon the air was sucking, getting sucked out in there. Um, I got it back. It still felt fucking sluggish. So I put a boost T in it, wound the fuel up a little bit and now I'm running 22 pound out of it instead of uh, 13. Um, but video I just uploaded the EGT means they're going to tune a little bit better. The uh, reason why she's got no exhaust is when I pulled the dump off to fit the EGT sensor because it didn't have one, I saw that scrumptious exhaust coming coming out. I thought, oh, okay, fair enough. Then I looked over to the header and I saw this little bit, because obviously the head is on there. Ah, oh, fuck me, sideways. So that's off. It's getting lapped, so to speak. Um, I ended up picking up that piece of stone down there uh, for a flat surface. Um, so essentially on the dump pipe here, let me get in a bit closer. You can see that mark there. Well, that is where it was all escaping now. This has been on an hour. I've just run out of sandpaper, so I couldn't finish it. So that's got to be nice and flat. Move over, bro. Then we've got the manifold. Manifold, uh, 
this one here was the culprit there um, this has been about an hour on on the other sandpaper and still needs some more work um, just to get everything nice and flat do it once well this will be the second time I've done it but uh, yeah I want some nicer seal around there that's not enough to keep me happy so I want to take it out a bit further and that one there a little bit further so we're not driving again um, hopefully tomorrow I'll pick up my gaskets, finish that, reassemble it and tune it.